you tried thing after thing, and as you know, we went along with most who wouldn't argue you out of it. But I remember something very specific. You were kicked out of a program in California. I remember getting the call. Um, oh my God, once more. It's kind of like having, which was not the case, kind of like having a, a drug addict child that had gone to a series of places, and you got that call again, which said, oh my God, she or he got kicked out. Actually, the image I think of, there was a movie in which the father is a lawyer, and the daughter has a drug problem. I remember the father being a lawyer, being in the phone booth, getting a call from his daughter saying, I need more money, I need more money, I need more money. It was this issue of always having um, afraid of that call. And again, what could that call be? It could be anything from suicide, it could be a call from um, anger, anger at something I had done, or or most often, probably really even you talking about your problems to me, which you always and often did, not always, but often did. And that was, I, not that it was hard to listen to or that it was wrong, it was hard to listen. Of course, it's hard for anybody to listen to, to somebody's problems at length and the discussing of it. So it wasn't that it was wrong at all to do, it wasn't it was right to do, but the anxiety and the, the pressure and the feeling of not knowing what that call was going to be. I would be very nervous when you would call.